Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you, or really I'm asking, are you manic ma manifesting? Are you not getting what you want? I'm going to help you pump the brakes so you stop doing that and get more of what you actually want. All right, let's talk about it. What is manic manifesting? Because if you are currently in a space in which you're not getting what you want, you're not in the health you want or the finances or relationships, career, business, any area of life, if you keep getting more of what you don't want, it's because that's where your focus is. Have you ever heard the phrase, wherever your focus goes, energy flows? So if you're in a state of manic manifesting, trying to make something happen, trying to manip manipulate the environment or things or people, that is actually a state of resistance in keeping what you want away from you. So what I wanna teach you is how to be in alignment, how to step into a state of flow and ease because you are a powerful creator. But instead of continuing to create by default, I want to help you create your life by design. So let's talk about it. What is manifesting? Because we're all doing it every single day. It's just whether or not you're aware of it. Manifesting simply means to bring something to fruition, to generate, to receive, to experience. We live in an energetic environment. That's what quantum physics teaches us, that everything is a potential in the quantum field in consciousness and if you can dream it you can have it but what happens for most people is we sit in the state of wanting and not having because when you want something it means you don't have that means there's a separation there's a gap there's a lack so as neville goddard teaches as an example he teaches that you have to live from the end, not thinking of your desire. Don't think of that dollar amount. Don't think of the health you want or the relationship or this business. Don't think of it. You need to think from the end. And what that means is your brain, your subconscious mind does not know the difference between an imagined thought and reality. If you haven't yet, I invite you to check out my free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Because until you understand what's currently running the show, you can't change the program. You can grab that free training on my website, heatherhakes.com. So as Neville and so many other teachers teach us, you have to emanate the feeling of that desire. Dr. Joe Dispenza is phenomenal at this. He teaches that you need to step into that future reality right here, right now. So what I want to walk you through is how to do that, right? At first, you, your mind's not going to believe it because, because if you're thinking and feeling abundant, but your bank account is empty, or you're thinking and feeling love and connection and gratitude, but you're single, or you're desiring this new job that you love, but you're in a job that you hate, there's a disconnect, right? It's, it's kind of like you have to, quote, fake it till you make it. But instead, what I want to help you do is you've got to stop manic manifesting. That needy, that wanting energy is literally keeping it away from you. You don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. So how to become this conscious creator, how to deliberately manifest the things, the experiences, whatever it is that you want, you have to become that energy, that frequency now. So what I want you to do right here, right now, think of your clear intention. What is that thing that you want to have, be, do, or experience? Get clear on it. You don't, the how is never your job. So please let go of the how right now. Your only job is to think of what you want, to get clear on that desire. Step number two, you've got to combine your mind, the conscious brain, your desire, and the subconscious, your feelings and emotions. Combine these two to create alignment because your thoughts are an energetic vibration putting your desire out and your feelings and emotions are the magnetic force drawing the experience back to you. So when you combine these two, the thoughts and the feelings, as Neville states, you live from the end. So as an example, 
if you're not in the home you want, but you have this clear picture of the home you desire. I can see mine right now, what I want. White kitchen, a huge center island. I have to literally take myself in my imagination to that end result, feel it, imagine it, cooking meals, having friends and family over. I have to feel it with my five senses already being there. You can do this with any area of life, a home, a vacation, a job, a relationship, your finances. It's a foolproof method that always works because that's what quantum physics is. We are energetic beings and we live in an energetic universe. But what does the law of attraction state? Like attracts like. So when you become that energy, when you become that frequency of already having and you let go of the needing and the wanting, because that's a very low vibe, you literally have become that frequency. And then that's how things happen to you. That's how the people you need show up, the resources you need, somebody just happens to call. You can call these synchronicities or coincidences, whatever you want. But I am telling you that when you combine that clear intention with those elevated emotions, gratitude, joy, abundance, love, and connection, Watch your desire come your way. And I want you to put this in play. I would love to hear from you. What is it that you are seeking? I believe it was Rumi who said it best. Whatever you are seeking is seeking you. Your only job is to connect with it. And you connect with it through your thoughts and your feelings. This is how you let go of that manic manifesting, trying to make things happen. And you simply become this magnetic force and anything is possible. Literally everything is possible. Finally, I want to leave you with this. I want you to put this into play. Apply this to your life. It's not enough just to know it or learn about it. True knowledge is experiencing this. And then once you've created the confidence and the belief and the knowing, you can use this in any facet of life time and time again. Simply repeat the formula. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And I want to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up if you like this channel. I'll catch you on the next video.